The world trades over three trillion worth of waterborne um, energy cargoes annually. But this industry is one of the largest unstructured and opaque marketplaces on the planet. Data is very fragmented and incomplete, leaving businesses to make high stakes decisions in the dark. Pamela came from London to tell us, how is it all done? What do you guys do? Good question. Um, so, um, so yes, yeah, so you've, I think, shown the value of the seaborne cargoes. So what Vortexa does is we track every seaborne cargo that moves around the world carrying energy commodities. So that's crude oil, refined products, LNG. Uh, we have onshore storage tank data as well, um, over 20,000 storage tanks. It's 200 billion data points um, that we get. We use AI. We have about 40 data scientists. We have about the e equal number of analysts who are, um, so we, we use AI to, uh, to gather, ingest, um, and, and really look at the data for data quality, because um, we also get sort of customs data and, and, and all sorts of, of kind of other data as well, other than the, um, the signaling data. So we also use humans, we use analysts, to look at the data and see any kind of anomalies that are happening in these, in, in these data points so that you can really use or show the Vortexa data um, to the world in terms of insights um, other people can use. So that's kind of how we do it. Um, it, it further to the point of the $3 trillion waterborne energy um, market, uh, you also, if, if you think about uh, the oil market, I would say um, half the oil market is traded on, uh, on, on, sea, on, on the sea. Um, and, and on the sea, those movements drive close to 90% of the price movements. So it's a really important data set to look at if you're looking at any kind of supply and demand balances globally. Um, it's probably the most important data set to look at because it's real-time data. It's primary data. It's not derived. And from that primary data, which goes back to 2016, you can then look at many different patterns, not just about the cargo on board, but also about all of the freight drivers around it because the cargo, of course, doesn't just move by itself. It moves on oil tankers different size oil tankers, another tradable commodity.